Hey everyone, it's Steve here from New Gamer Nation, and we're here talking with Dan from Microsoft Studios about the new Killer Instinct. And uh, you know, I've been a big fan of this franchise for a long time, um, and I know it's been gone for a while. Why are you guys bringing it back now? What? Yeah, so uh, we've been trying to bring it back for a while. Uh, Rare, a lot of the rights to their games came over with Microsoft when uh, they were acquired. So we have some guys on our team who are very passionate about Killer Instinct. Uh, Ken Lobb, who worked on the original, uh, works in our office, and he's been trying to bring it back for a while, and things just uh, lined up this past year. So we brought it back. Yeah, and I mean, Killer Instinct has always been pretty ahead of the curve in graphics, and this game looks phenomenal. Um, is there anything the Xbox One has really allowed you to do from a uh, development standpoint? Yeah, well, uh, thanks for the uh, compliment. And the biggest thing for us is uh, just particles and lightings and fur. Like, each character is kind of a showcase of what the Xbox One can really show off. With Jago, we got his fireballs. With the particles, we try to make them as big and, like, as powerful as possible. With Saber Wolf, we got the fur. With Thunder, we have uh, the lightning on his effects. So we're trying to show off how, like, this, the console is able to empower these characters a lot more. And is this basically going to be a um, like a rework, a rebuild of the first one, or are all the characters from the first one going to be in the game eventually? Are there going to be any new characters, or what's that looking like? Yeah, so this is like a, a kind of a reboot of the franchise. So uh, we haven't like confirmed if there's all the characters going to come back, or which ones might not, or which ones may. But uh, yeah, we're definitely trying to reboot it and like bring it uh, into this generation. So there's a good chance you might see some new characters. You'll see some old faces, and they'll come back like over time. Okay, and I guess one big thing that a lot of uh, gamers have um, wonder about is how's the netcode for online play? Is it going to be like seamless online play and how's the uh, online experience going to be? Yeah, so uh, Double Helix right now, they're working very hard on getting online play up and ready for launch. That's a big focus. Uh, they played a lot of the other fighters, they played Street Fighter, so they, they know how important it is to have a, a seamless online connection. We're going to try to make sure we use some of the new Xbox One features to make online even faster, quicker connections, in and out of matches as quick as you can. So that's something that it'll, we'll have it for launch, and it's just going to get better from there. Okay, and when's this game looking like it's going to be uh, coming out? When's the uh, release date? Yeah, so this will be an uh, Xbox One launch title. So uh, the, it's a digital game, so it'll be on at launch. And then uh, the roster is just going to expand after the first day as a, as a digital title. Oh, okay. Well, the game looks great. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Yeah.